had an idea of Leonardo da Vinci as this very kind of uh, grave, sagely elder man. There's a very famous portrait from, I think it's 1512, where he's 56 years old with the long hair. Um, and I think that's what a lot of us have discovered is that no one really knows that much about his youth. There are a lot of contrasting, conflicting stories about what he was up to when he was kind of in his late 20s and early 30s. Um, but it's kind of exciting to see how Leonardo da Vinci becomes this grave, venerable being. Um, so I've certainly learned a lot. And I, I, again, in terms of quite what an extraordinary polymath, I mean, uh, I knew kind of before I started this series that he was this amazing artist, but the fact that he was a war engineer and this incredible inventor. We went to um, this museum in Vinci where he was born uh, and they kind of mocked up all these various models of diving suits and submarines and tanks and things. And you just look at these things and you think he was just an extraordinary individual. I'd like to think so. I mean, I, I do think we're kind of, I think we're honoring the spirit of Da Vinci as this extraordinary, vibrant, creative, creative um, life force. So, um, yeah, I'd like to think so. I think when we were, when it all kicked off, I was shooting something in Budapest, I think it was, and I put myself on tape and sent it over a couple of times. Then I met up with David to have a, a chat with him about it, and I, I was just kind of blown away meeting him. I, I think he's just, I mean, a, as, as an individual, he's a wonderful, wonderful person, but as a creative force, he's just, he's like this kind of dynamo. He's so inspiring and passionate, and I, he, he has such a wonderful grasp of character, and I think that's why he has such great success creating these uh, very complicated, um, dark individuals with very kind of deep mythological pasts. Um, and, you know, in his head, he's got these kind of wonderful secrets that are burdening many of the characters, which will spiral out over successive series if we get. I mean, to be honest, when I signed up for the show, it was very much it vacillated between Renaissance Florence and Rome. Uh, I never imagined we would be going to Peru and Machu Picchu in series two, and that, for me, is one of the great joys of the show, is I don't know how many shows are out there where you literally don't know what continent you're going to end up on, uh, script by script. So I, I hope it keeps surprising me and keeps surprising the viewers. Uh, I'm ju just uh, yesterday I just finished a, a radio, lovely radio play of a Balzac with Ian McKellen, um, which is good fun. Um, 